Oh my God, Google Bard is here. I just got access to it. Give me 30 seconds and I'll show you how you can get access to Google Bard and also how does it compare with ChatGPT? Is it better or worse? All right, here's the website. You're gonna go to bard.google.com and sign up for a waiting list. And it looks like you're gonna get access pretty fast. So I was added to the waiting list uh, at 10 a.m. And in a couple of hours at 1 p.m. I got the access. So let's take it for a spin, Google Bard. First of all, here is the interface. It looks pretty similar to ChatGPT. You can enter your prompt here and it will show you all the results. So let's uh, write a prompt. All right, I'm gonna ask, how do you cook uh, fish crackers? And then it takes a second or a couple of seconds to think. It doesn't just start writing uh, how you see in ChatGPT, so it, it's different, but here is the answer. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. It gives you some methods, and then here are different ingredients that you need, and then here are all the steps. By the way, if you wanna go to Google for the same query, you can do that as well. So Google Bard is actually fast, but there's one difference that I noticed, uh, and I think it's positive over ChatGPT. Let me show you. I'm gonna give it a prompt, write a 300 word blog article about focus. So let's hit enter. It's gonna think for a few seconds, and I think it's like three seconds, four seconds. And here is the blog article. So what's really, really cool, and I like uh, this change or dif difference, it divides your content into different sections. So if you use AI to write blog content or articles, I think you're gonna like uh, Google Bard. Let's do the same search in ChatGPT. Here is my ChatGPT, and we're gonna use the same prompt. Hit enter. And you notice the difference, it just starts writing stuff. Google Bard just thinks and then gives you everything in a second. It's still going. It did give me some tips at the bottom of the blog article, which is really, really cool, but it wasn't really broken down into any sections. I've only had access to Google Bard for the last couple of hours, but I'm liking what I see from this AI tool from Google. Let me know what you think if you have access to Google Bot. If not, just do the follow the two steps that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. And then which one do you like more? Google Bot or ChatGPT?